Hi, I'm Dr. Katie Landier, the Senior Centered Physical Therapist, and welcome back. In today's video, I'll be showing you my favorite hip exercises and progressions. Now, I tell all of my clients, if everyone strengthened their hips more, I would be out of a job because hip strength impacts everything. When we have stronger hips, we're less likely to have back pain, knee pain, and hip pain. Plus, our hips are our powerhouse of the legs, so they ensure that we can walk, jog, and jump effectively. For this workout, you'll need a surface that feels comfortable to lie down on and a looped resistance band. You can also use a regular resistance band and tie it together. But if you're ready, grab that equipment and let's get started. For this workout, we are gonna be focusing mostly on the muscles of the back of the leg. So that's gonna be glute max and then deep to that glute med. That's gonna be for our clamshells, our sideline legs, sideline leg with a band, and side steps with the band, as well as our two-way hip. For our reverse clamshells, we're gonna be working glute med and also deep to that glute min, as well as our tensor fascia lata, and then our adductor group, which you can kind of see from the back here and also see from the front. So that's adductor longus, brevis, and magnus. That's all the muscles we're working in this video. Let's get started. All right, so I've got my comfy surface to lay down on, and I've got my resistance band close by because we'll need it too. But I'm gonna lay down to my side first. So I come all the way to my side, and then I let my elbow be my pillow here. So what we're gonna do first is a clamshell. So toes of my bottom foot are gonna go into the mat, and then my heels are gonna stay together. And all I'm doing is just rotating and derotating my hip. And you'll notice this is not a big movement. So people wanna do this and then they roll behind. And what happens there is we take all the work out of the hip and then it becomes leg work. And we don't want that. We wanna feel right there. Sometimes we'll feel even deeper in the glutes, but we really wanna make sure those glutes are the ones that are firing. So I'm gonna do four more. Here's one, two, three, and four. So to progress that, we're gonna do the reverse clamshell. So for this, I can let my bottom foot go flat on the mat, and then I'm gonna float my top leg up. So I'm gonna rotate my top knee towards my bottom knee, and then I'm gonna rotate my top knee towards the ceiling, and rotate and derotate. Still keeping this top hip forward, not rolling back. So sometimes I tell clients to do this on their couch, or if they have a place like a headboard that's kind of soft so that you know you're not rolling backwards. But you can also feel it. If you lose that work in the hip, you know that you've rolled back. Oh, and these should burn a little bit. So that hurts so good burn. We'll do two more. Here's one. And two. I'm gonna lower that leg. Oh. I'm gonna tap the booty a little bit. It helps, I promise. <laughs> and then we're gonna move on to our straight leg version. So once again, if you have kind of feel, felt like you've really tackled clamshells, straight leg is a good progression. So I'm gonna let my top leg go long and I'm just gonna lift and lower. So I lift it up and lower it down. Once again, not letting that hip roll. If we roll back, we're working the front of the leg. We don't want that, we want right here. Nice and strong powerhouse. Also, we don't need to go too quick. I kind of think of lifting up for two and down for two. Nice and controlled both directions to get that concentric and eccentric strength. I'll do one more. And I'll take that rest, find that little tap. And now I'm gonna grab my resistance band. So this is one of my favorite ways to progress hip exercises is adding resistance. And this one you feel right away. So here's a trick. You're gonna take your resistance band, kind of find center, put it underneath your foot or your shoe, and then wrap it around once. So it's wrapped. I'm not cutting off my circulation but I'm just making sure that it's not gonna fly up and hit me in the face. <laughs> so I'm gonna take this band, double it, 
and then lay it back down to my side. So from here, I already have to work to press that leg straight because the resistance is there. And now I lift and lower, and then I really feel it in the glute. You'll also feel it in the lower glute because that's stabilizing for you. So having that band underneath that bottom knee gives that bottom leg a little bit more work, which in this case we love, right? So we'll do three more. Here's one, two, and three. We'll lower it down nice and slowly. And then I'll go ahead and sit back up and I'm gonna grab my looped band for our last two exercises. All right, for our last two hip exercises, we're gonna be using the looped band. So I'm gonna hold on to something and put this band over my knees. So this is not supposed to be a balance challenge. I always have clients who seem to wanna to do it without holding on to anything. Don't feel the need to do that, it's okay. So for this one, what we're gonna do is we're gonna find some tension in the band. So to do that, I'm just doing a little mini squat. So I'm not all the way down here and I'm not just trying to press out from my knees because that's a lot of tension. So I just find that squat, natural press out into the band. I'm gonna take a few steps to the side. So I'm just gonna step and I'm keeping my toes forward to keep the tension in the band. And then I'll step the other direction. If you're doing this at home, I recommend finding a nice long hallway and doing laps. So you go all the way down, stay the same direction and go all the way back. So if you turn around, which a lot of people wanna do, then you're actually working the same leg twice and we don't wanna do that. So notice how I'm going one direction and then back with the opposite leg leading. So I would see if you can do two laps in your house, stand, shake the legs, take a little rest, and then we're gonna go into our last exercise. So for this, we wanna make sure we're holding on to something once again. So not about balance, about hip strength. So for this one, I'm gonna shift my weight to my right foot and then I can float my left foot up and I'm just gonna kick out and I can feel that tension in the band. And I should be feeling this once again in the booty. If this feels really easy, you can actually lower the band to above the ankles. This feels good for me today, so I'm just gonna do this. So I would do about 10 here and then switch to the other side. So after my 10 on this side, what I'm gonna show you is the last version, which is just, I'm gonna turn to the side so you can see. So instead of kicking forward or to the side, I'm gonna kick back. And you can see that glute working, hopefully. <laughs> if it's working, you should see it. So we'll feel that glute. Still have a slight bend in my stabilizing leg, like I did for my side steps. So we're not locking out the knee. And same thing, 10 on this side, and then switch to the other side. So you've just completed this hip workout. Excellent job. Remember to revisit this video to get those hips nice and strong and help decrease and prevent pain. Until next time, I'm Dr. Katie Landier, the Senior Centered Physical Therapist. Have the strength to live life to the fullest. Bye for now.